Hello everyone, welcome to Gusan Designs. So today I will show you an easy way to make a burlap fabric basket. You can use it to cover your plant pots, in the kitchen for potatoes and onions, in the bathroom for your beauty products, or even if you like crafts like me, you can use for your yarns or macrame cords. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to support my channel. Let's get started. If you'd like to skip the measurements and get straight into the action, then go to this time. You can find all the measurements in the description below. I used an embroidery hoop for my smaller fabric basket and a larger hoop that I used for the macrame wrist tutorial for the larger fabric basket. I traced the hoops for the bottom of the basket. I cut out all the shapes in burlap, fabric and interfacing. Measure the circumference of the hoops, add 2 cm for the seam allowance and that will be the length of our main pieces. Measure the height you'd like it to be and add 6 cm, 2 cm for the seam allowance and 4 cm to fold over the top of the fabric later. I started by ironing the interfacing to every burlap piece. Then, I folded the burlap over with the interfacing facing out and pinned the side. I also did this for the fabric pieces. Sew along here. Then I placed the circular piece on top of the main piece and started to pin them together along the edges. Originally I miscalculated the length of the fabrics, which is why I cut the ends off as there was too much left over. I changed the measurements to show this. I did the same thing for the fabric pieces. Next, sew the edges of the pieces but leave a gap in the fabric piece. Make sure to leave a decent size gap when sewing so you can turn it inside out. Turn the burlap piece the right way around and place inside the inside out fabric piece. Pin the edges together and we will sew along the edge. Using the small gap that we left on the fabric piece, turn it inside out. This is not easy and be careful to not rip the seam. Mm -hmm. 
Lastly, sew the hole in the fabric piece by hand to close it and to get that nice clean finish. If you would like to decorate your basket, you can add some macrame around, paint it or even do some embroidery. I'll see you next week for more Goose and Designs!